Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, two blue identical uh, squares along with this uh, yellow square as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the area of these uh, blue squares is uh, 25 centimeters square whereas the area for this uh, yellow square is uh, 49 centimeters square and furthermore we got these uh, two diagonal lines uh, AF and uh, CE such that we get an angle uh, X over here and now our task is to calculate the value of this angle uh, X and keep in mind that we are looking for the exact value of this uh, angle X in other words no approximations please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step we are interested in finding the side lengths of all these squares and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square and now let's focus on these uh, blue squares the area has been given to us as uh, 25 so therefore i can write s square equals to 25 let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking uh, the square root so therefore our side length uh, s turns out to be 5 uh, centimeter so therefore all these uh, side lengths uh, of this uh, blue square are uh, 5 centimeter each and likewise uh, 5 centimeters over here across the board as well and now let's focus on this uh, yellow square whose area is uh, 49 so therefore i can write s square equals to 49 let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking the square root on both sides so our side length uh, s uh, turns out to be positive uh, 7 so therefore all these uh, side lengths uh, for this uh, yellow square turns out to be 7 centimeter each now we are going to think uh, outside the box and we have uh, drawn this uh, horizontal uh, blue line that is uh, parallel to another line AE such that uh, this uh, blue line uh, divides uh, this angle into two parts uh, this one uh, and uh, this one let me go ahead and call uh, this angle uh, alpha and i'm going to call uh, this angle uh, beta such that uh, angle alpha plus uh, angle beta equals to our angle x and now our task is to find the value of this angle uh, alpha plus beta and now we can see since these are uh, two lines are parallel lines and this uh, red line is our transversal so therefore uh, this angle alpha has got to be equal to this uh, angle uh, alpha since they are alternate angles and likewise uh, this angle uh, beta is going to be equal to this angle uh, beta as well since this is uh, our transversal and these are uh, alternate angles as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EBC and we can see its uh, side lengths are uh, this side is uh, 5 centimeter and this uh, side length is going to be 5 plus 7 is going to make uh, 12 centimeter and now let's recall uh, so katoa and we are interested in tangent of alpha equals to opposite uh, divided by adjacent and this is our opposite side and this is our adjacent so therefore our tangent uh, of angle alpha is going to be opposite is uh, 5 divided by adjacent is uh, 12 and now let's focus on another right triangle uh, AEF and whose side lengths are this side is uh, 7 centimeter and this uh, whole side length uh, is going to be 5 plus 5 plus 7 is going to give us uh, 17 centimeter and now let's focus on once again on Soka Toa and we are interested uh, this time on tangent of uh, angle beta and that is going to be equal to opposite uh, divided by adjacent and our opposite uh, side is uh, 7 centimeter 
and our adjacent side is 17 so therefore our tangent of angle beta turns out to be 7 divided by 17 so thus our tangent of alpha turns out to be 5 divided by 12 and tangent of beta turns out to be 7 divided by 17 and since we are interested in finding the exact value of uh, alpha plus uh, beta so therefore we are going to use this uh, tangent of uh, sum of angles uh, alpha plus beta and that is going to be equal to tangent of alpha plus uh, tangent of beta all over 1 minus uh, tangent of alpha times uh, tangent of beta and we already know our tangent of alpha is 5 divided by 12 so I'm going to replace these uh, tangent of alpha over here likewise tangent of beta is 7 divided by 17 I'm going to replace uh, over here as well so therefore let's go ahead and make a substitution so tangent of alpha plus beta is going to be equal to and now let's focus on these fractions on the numerator and here I have copied them down and let me show you how to add these uh, fractions let's go ahead and crisscross so if we multiply we are going to get uh, 85 then I'm going to write down this sign plus and the, the other way around is 84 divided by I'm going to multiply out 12 times 17 that is going to give us 204 so therefore our, our this uh, numerator part has been simplified to 169 divided by 204 so therefore I can write the numerator part uh, 169 divided by 200 and 4 all over 1 minus let's go ahead and multiply them out that is going to give us 35 divided by 204 and now let's focus on this denominator part and here I have copied it down and when we simplify this thing that is going to give us 169 divided by 204 so therefore I'm going to replace this denominator part by this one so therefore on the numerator we got uh, 169 divided by 204 and all over this thing I'm going to replace it by this uh, 169 divided by 204 as well and now we can see this numerator and denominator they cancel each other out so that is going to be equal to 1 so therefore our angle tangent of uh, alpha plus uh, beta turns out to be equal to 1 and that is could be written as uh, alpha plus beta equals to tangent uh, inverse of uh, 1 and we know tangent inverse of 1 is simply 45 degrees so therefore we conclude that our angle alpha plus beta turns out to be 45 degrees but we know that our angle alpha plus beta equals to angle x so therefore our angle x turns out to be 45 degrees so thus our angle x turns out to be 45 degrees Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.